welcome back to the channel so um to do this um style or styles i would think that your hair by now is probably dry so take some water of course go grab your water bottle fill it up of course mine is never full anytime i want to film but water bottle um get yourself some leave-in conditioner or some sort of leave-in of any sort whatever you decide to use that works for your hair for me it's gonna always be the jamaican black castor oil leave-in conditioner from shea moisture um as you can see i am almost gone but some of it's in here too so there you go and then if you want to double up on moisture get yourself some moisturizer moisturizing milk um this is from as i am but use whatever you have um and then for tools i'm not going to use hardly any i think my, my fingers and my hands are going to be detangling and combing and separating but i am going to use a scarf to do one style and then i have some bows just in case i want to do like an up down style so grab all of your essentials and meet you back here and we'll get started okay so before we even get to styling i want to make sure that my hair is um manageable and when i say manageable like if i want to part it left or right or if i want to bring it up that it's not fighting with me because it has nothing um, on it or in it to actually move around so with me i usually take my water bottle spray it all over my head make sure my hair is damp or semi-damp and then use my leave-in conditioner after that um to make sure we don't lose any soldiers. <laughs> Hey guys, back again. I just wanted to give you guys two quick tips that I've learned um, so far with putting my hair into a lazy style. One, with water, it's either going to settle it down or it's gonna spruce it up, depending on your porosity. So with me, I have very low porosity. So water, um, yeah, water has to enter into the chat in order for her to make a difference. So with me, um, honestly, if I was in the mood, this would be a this would be a, a style. I would obviously style it some sort of way to make it look presentable. But being that it's in my face, I really don't want to do that right now. It's about to get cold too, so putting my hair up in a winter time just makes more sense. I know most people put their hair down to kind of warm up the neck area, but it's already complicated enough putting a scarf on and a hat and all that other stuff. So I just want to make sure it's out the way. But um this would be one style if you guys actually didn't want to wow didn't want to um do anything if you have any curls left use them that is my tip of the video of the day if you have any curls left use them use them while you have them because once they are gone you are going to have to form them in order for them to come back now also fun fact my hair is not black it is a dark brown or a black brown so for all of my dark brown 1b girls you know who i'm talking about um drop the comments below um i want to meet the 1b gang dark i mean black jet black looks good but my normal natural hair color is brown i just don't want y'all to think my hair is ashy because it's, it's not it's just brown <laughs> okay but now that we got past the water part i'm um, actually gonna go back with my leave-in conditioner. I think my water still has some um, castor oil in it too. So if you wanna add your oil to your water, you're welcome to do so. Or you can actually separate that and make that a separate step. So without further ado, I'm gonna add this leave-in conditioner and then we're gonna get to styling. Let's get started.
for me, if I want to do an up down style or something, I always take my hair, put it in the style that it's probably either going to be in, and then look on both sides, make sure that if you have some curls that you want to be in the back shown or if you want them to be tucked away you know what i'm saying like everybody i think everybody naturally does this but i think for naturals we literally have to practice before we get ready to do the style otherwise it's not gonna it's not gonna be successful and sometimes you can practice and it's still not be successful but like for me i can do this all day long bomb it, it looks great now when i actually add a bow terrible and i'm like what am i doing wrong i don't understand but um, right now, I'm going to attempt to take a bow, put the hair that I have in my left hand in a ponytail, and fluff this out to create a big, fluffy, up and down look. See, I'm talking about you can practice all day long, but when your hair is ready for the show, she just either gonna show up or she's not. And in my opinion, I feel like this is a style for sure, but this is not the same as me holding my hair in my hand. I don't know if it's just me. Maybe y'all understand what I'm talking about, but I guess I should have took a picture of that so y'all can see the difference. <laughs> but this is another style. Um, so here is style one. And now we're gonna go to the second style. Okay guys, so the last style is gonna be the style I'm actually gonna do. And it's gonna be the last style, so I'm gonna wear it. Um, it's actually the high puff uh, or the high curly ponytail to worry about curls getting in the way. So what I'm gonna do now, once again, is apply water all around the perimeter. Follow up with some gel and then apply my brush. Okay, now I'm gonna take my brush. I've watered and gelled my hair all around. I'm gonna take my brush and just brush up everything. Now, if you have blended a bald spot like me, I don't brush going back. I brush my baby hair and all this go sideburns going that way so it covers it if you care that much. If not, just brush how you brush. But I'm gonna twist um, where it's like really, really thick on the scarf and just twist it all the way around. Um, that way when I actually tie it in the front, you don't have it peeking out, but it's also a dark color so it blends But if y'all are like adamant about it not showing at all, you want to twist it or grab a really thin one So it won't be seen in your, in your high bow. Okay, so I Take my scarf put it in the back of my head Make sure it goes beyond my side. I have low sideburns, so to make sure they are beyond the sideburns push it all the way up tie it in the front um you don't have to do it too tight i do it tight because my hair will unravel this thing so you see how this is like that i just tuck it in and then keep twisting excuse me keep, keep pulling and then push the back up once i get the back to how i want it i and then take 
take whatever's left of your scarf and bring it to the back and then tie it in the back and if you have some left all I do is tuck it like that now most people will go with this well it is to me so I just um, take whatever's left and I use my hands I don't use no comb or anything and if you have some pieces that are like semi cute just have them dangle and then tuck everything else or if you are like me and you have acne problems just bring push it to the back so you don't have anything in your face causing your face to break out because that happens now this piece right here just tuck it underneath this is a silk scarf so um, it does not hurt you know you have some scarves that aren't silk and um, once you do that you feel your hair kind of breaking either you don't have enough product on your hair to actually let that smooth right on through or the scarf is not probably the best material for this sort of style so I would recommend a silk scarf this is it this is the final style I think I only gave y'all two styles and a possible so forgive me <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this it has been actually a good run normally I do like two or three tries with this but this is like the second time I've done everything once or twice without it having any problems so progress okay this is progress um, if you want to see more of this feel free to comment below let me know what you want to see otherwise I'm gonna get right on out of here guys happy main Monday um, that's gonna be hashtag for today main Monday and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>